We need to talk about this. Now before this video starts, I will say that these changes do not affect me at all, or at least not on this channel. Uh, but this morning I woke up with an email from YouTube on another channel that I have that I don't use anymore. And I'll show it on screen now, but basically a lot of creators got this email this morning. It said, under the new eligibility requirement announced today, your YouTube channel is no longer eligible for monetization because it doesn't meet the new threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. As a result, your channel will lose access to all monetization tools and features associated with the YouTube Partnership Program, on February the 20th, 2018, unless you surpass this threshold in the next 30 days. Accordingly, this email serves as 30 day notice that your YouTube partner program terms are terminated. So when I saw this, I was like, whoa, what is going on here? Like this is, this is huge news. And then I started panicking that uh, maybe I've got this same email sat in my inbox for this channel and that I'm basically losing my partnership with yeah, YouTube. And it turns out I'm not because I double checked and I'm actually currently about two to 2.5 times uh, larger than a threshold. I get about two and a half times more watch time than this says, and I have like double the amount of subscribers. So at the minute, I'm perfectly fine, but I very well might not have been. If this email said that you had to have 10,000 hours of watch time and 10,000 subscribers, that would have been it. My partnership with YouTube would have been gone. My ad revenue would have disappeared. And uh, that would have been pretty heartbreaking. Now I've seen a lot of creators on Twitter, both small who are getting their monetization taken away to large creators, a uh, million, two million, uh, plus subscriber channels who have been very much against this and on the flip side I've also seen people that have been very much for this now when it comes to the people that have been for this change a lot of them have said well you don't make much money on 4,000 hours of watch time anyway and yeah you don't you're probably not going to make a full-time living of 4,000 hours of watch time uh, on YouTube but it's not the couple of dollars that you might think it is now 4,000 hours might not seem a lot but if you equate it into minutes that is 240,000 minutes of watch time that is almost a quarter of a million minutes that people across the world are sat watching your channel which is quite a lot of time when you think about it. Now I went into my own analytics and I basically uh, segregated a, a period of time and tried to get as close to uh, 240,000 minutes as I could in my analytics. See how much money basically I made in that amount of time and I managed to get just over 241,000 minutes of watch time and I'll show on screen now how much money I made in that period. Now, as you can see, this money is not life-changing, but it's not just pennies either. Uh, this money is something that I can use every couple of months. I get paid every couple of months on YouTube. I don't earn that much from YouTube. Maybe every two or three months I do get paid from them. I do hit the threshold to get paid. And uh, I can use this money to buy new equipment and put back in the channel, whether it's a new webcam, uh, which is actually what I did last time I got paid from YouTube. I bought the webcam that you're watching me on right now. Uh, YouTube paid for that webcam. And that is something I wouldn't have been able to buy at that moment in time uh, without YouTube because my financial situation is pretty dismal at the minute like people say they're skinned and I'd say that I am skinned well they're skinned and then there's me like I'm a hell of a lot skinnier than what most people class as skin like I am penniless I am in debt and basically I bought that webcam even though I could have probably paid off some debt which might have been a smart thing but I knew that was going to improve my channel quality and it was going to improve my twitch streams uh, which hopefully will um eventually start earning me more income that is my hope from buying that webcam and youtube made that possible and i know people there's friends of mine that use it to maybe pay for their adobe subscription uh, which helps them to edit videos photoshop all that sort of stuff and now they've got to fund that out their own pocket which fair enough it isn't the greatest amount of money in the world it's not sort of thing that's going to put them in like huge financial burdens but basically they can't put money back into the channel now because they're not earning it but if this change has taught me anything it's that we really need to start paying attention to the smaller channels a lot of people see the smaller channels where you're maybe 100 subscribers you're 200 subscribers and they automatically think that the content mustn't be that good because no one's watching it but i guarantee there is millions upon millions of videos that haven't cracked 100 views that if they had a million views I bet a lot of people would say they were good content and it's such a shame because I barely crack 100 views on most of my videos and I'm not saying my video I'm not blowing my own horn saying that they're good content that's up for you to decide I really hope that they are good content but the videos are generally I'm happy with the result a lot of the time I watch the video back and I'm like yeah I did a good job there's times where later on down the road I go oh Man, what was I think when I made that video? That audio quality is crap. That song, I played it really bad. Stuff like that. But a lot of the time, I do watch it back. Even my one of my very first videos, I think it's a Sum 41 cover. I watch back and I go, because I had no idea what I was doing when it came to making music and making videos. I did a pretty damn good job. And I guarantee there's a lot of videos out there that are absolutely fantastic. Some really talented creators that just can't get a break. They can't crack 100 views. They've just got no one watching at all. And it's such a shame because your new favourite creator may never happen. 
There could be people out there that have grinded 40 hours a week for five years. They've got a full-time job. They've got a wife or a husband. They've got kids. And uh, they dedicate another 40 hours a week to YouTube. They're neglecting the kids. They're neglecting the wife. They're neglecting the husband. And uh, basically, they're just neglecting a lot of aspects of their own life in order to try and make YouTube a thing. And uh, it's a real shame that a lot of these channels will eventually die off uh, because of it. And maybe something like this could be the final nail in the coffin that maybe after five years of grinding out 40 hours a week, it's just not worth it because I'm clearly not getting anywhere. Maybe I'm not as good as what I thought I was. And then maybe if some people just gave them a chance, maybe if they just clicked on the video, gave it a watch, subscribe to the channel, maybe... That could start the growth, that would start the snowball effect that would slowly grow their channel into something sustainable. And then maybe they could live their dreams and maybe you might find your new favourite creator. And it's such a shame that I reckon this is going to cause a lot of those channels to disappear. And although some people say it's good that it's sort of weeding out the people that aren't dedicated, it's not always going to be the case. There's people that are going to be so dedicated to YouTube that this is just the final thing that just proves that they have not got it in them to make it. And maybe they do have it in them if people give them a chance. And I think that's something we all need to take away with anything is that there's so many people People now who are getting their monetization taken away that maybe just click on a new channel give it a watch give it a sub just getting that little bit closer to hitting the monetization and getting partnered again and they're starting to make their dreams reality and uh, i'm going to leave some channels in the description box some channels of people that i know some people that are personal friends of mine uh, that i really enjoy their content i'm also going to leave some videos from them as well with some recommended content that i think is really good that content that i enjoy and uh, maybe if you see this video maybe you watch it just go in the description box Click one of those links, I don't care which one it is, click them all, ideally click them all, but just click one, give it a watch if you like it, hit a subscribe button, that will put them one step closer to getting partnered, and uh, that is what we need now more than ever. So I think I'm going to end this video here, guys. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Uh, what do you think about the changes that YouTube have made? Is this good? Is this bad? Has your partnership been revoked? Uh, what does this mean for the future of YouTube? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think of it. And if you've enjoyed this video today, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Like I said, go and check out some channels in the description box. Go sub them too. They are awesome creators and they really deserve the break. And on that note, that is the end of the video, guys. My name is Duels. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.